even the founders have come forwards right and said themselves hand, handle our our new thing with care it's in its infancy i and unfortunately one of its greatest skills is looking credible and looking convincing yeah so if there's one thing that they're very good at these these large language models it is convincingly making up and, and telling you yeah. stuff that isn't fully correct and i think a lot of analyses have now been done to suggest when you should use I, these generative AI models and when you shouldn't. And it, if you're looking for accuracy and reliability, it, typically the advice is steer clear. Mm. I, because it is this black box that you don't know how it's generated the results yep. that you asked for. Often if you hit r refresh on the same request word for word, you'll get a different response, yep. even if it's got numbers in it, yep. you know, and, and so on. So I think... For us, while while we did look, you know, as part of the wave of the hype curves excitement mm -hmm. at like, oh, could SuperSeed be using, you know, this in our application? Actually, I think we're steering quite sharply the other way and saying we want to be transparent about how data is transformed. We want to be fundamentally, mathematically accurate and reliable yeah. in everything that we do so that you have that confidence that it's not been hallucinated yeah. when you're doing something really yeah. important like buying reinsurance. Well, yeah, and that veracity of data and the authentic and sort of accuracy of it is fundamental to everything in the insurance value chain and as ambitious as we might get around improving the speed and efficiency in which people work the most important thing across every step of the insurance chain from the end consumer looking at a quote online to the retro premiums requires the data to be accurate and correct and even if there's small chances of data being manipulated or or um, incorrect and inaccurate, it's going to have a lot of knock-on effects. And I think th our industry, rightfully so, has an aversion to making those mistakes. And so we'll, we'll continue to err on the side of patience and caution and, you know, away from going, well, we don't quite know, let's yeah. have another human double check that because that human will recognize that that doesn't make any sense. Um, again, I think, and I think the future will be a sort of hybrid model, but I think you'll see a slower adoption in our industry, rightfully so, because mm. we work in a different product than tons of interesting, you know, user consumer products.